Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Films of Benzene Entertainment here with a movie review of the 1976 remake of King Kong, which was originally made in 1933, and that movie was considered a classic. Now, the 1976 remake of King Kong is the one that I adore the most for personal reasons. I'll go into other King Kong movies, but actually I'm going to go into just three of them. This one, 1933 and 2005. But for now, I'll stick to 1976. Now, all of you may know the 1933 version, which had dinosaurs, King Kong, and even the climax of King Kong climbing the Empire State Building. But 1976 had a little bit different, probably a lot different. It didn't have any dinosaurs. King Kong looked a little bit different and even climbed the World Trade Center, which is no longer around. And I think you know why. Also in the original, King Kong was portrayed as stop motion, which at the time was groundbreaking. Here, he was portrayed as a man in a suit. Originally, they were going to use like an animatronic, a huge one, in fact, but it didn't work out. But the, like I said, there's no dinosaurs, and also that the only creature he fights in this movie is a giant snake. That's all he fights, really. And there is some uh, non-PG, at least at the time it would be considered PG, I think. But there's only like a very few moments with gore. For example, the snake gets his mouth torn in half. And even in the end where Kong climbs the War Trade Center, not surprisingly with what you might think, considering nowadays, but only when Kong gets shot, he bleeds a lot. But that's only at the end. And uh, I don't mean to spoil that, but that's just what happens. I mean, that's just almost the gist of the whole movie, actually. It follows almost the same plot as the original King Kong. I'll go into that next time. But um, what I mainly want to talk about is... Uh, King Kong 76 and how it had like inspiration for me for like some of my movies because back in 2013 I was mainly or maybe 2011 I'm not sure inspired me to do something like uh, a Baragoris movie which became Armageddon currently but really King Kong really inspired me to do Baragoris at least a 76 remake mainly because of how much style it had at, at that time. And also, the way Kong was portraying the film was very violent, not because of blood, but mainly because of how aggressive he was, the way he was realistic, even the way he sounds too. And maybe a suck war at times. But all, he also sounds like an actual Hulk. And the reason I say Hulk is because he's kind of similar to the Hulk, at least in the 76 remake. Maybe because of the way he sounds and the way he acts. And the reason I keep comparing to the Hulk is because, well, I see it also the same way as my monster. But enough of my monster. Actually, I'll keep going. <laughs> so anyway, Bergwars tends to be like a major thing in my life, but... Kong served as like the main theme in the first Burgors, mainly because of how the movie's music served as a popular source of what I didn't have at the time, music, original music. But then came actual music. But anyway, okay, enough of my rambling. I want to go back to King Kong 76. Anyway, the stars include... Jeff Bridges, Jessica Lange, and Charles Grodin. They're all good actors in this movie, but Charles Grodin really pales in comparison to the original Robert Armstrong from the original King Kong because he's not as nice, it seems here. But anyway, in fact, I remember reading that Jessica Lange wasn't originally cast as the main love interest for Kong. Or even Jeff Bridges. Originally they're going to choose Meryl Streep. But Dino Dio Laurentiis. The producer who was going to cash in on Jaws at the time. Claimed that she looked too ugly for the part. As mean as that sounds. It's. 
Yeah, it's mean. Yeah, it really is mean. But anyway, like I said before, Dion De Laurentiis tried to cash in on Jaws, directed by Steven Spielberg, and obviously King Kong 76 wasn't as popular as Jaws. And when Dino De Laurentiis tried to cash in on Jaws, he said, when a shark die, nobody cry, and when King Kong dies, everybody cry. At least what I know is a probably iconic quote, but not very iconic enough to beat Jaws. In fact, the only reason I thought King Kong 76 wasn't as successful was mainly because Dino De Laurentiis made it obvious that he was trying to cash in on Jaws. You want the gorilla to beat the shark. Well, are you going to do it? In fact, there were other ripoffs of King Kong 76 are trying to cash in on it as well. Like Ape, the Mighty Peking Man, and even more infamous Yeti, Giants of the 20th Century, which in fact used a man in a hairy costume, which actually wasn't a costume. It was probably like just a man who was hairy. I don't know. My point is, at least from what I think, is that ripoffs tend to, at least from my viewpoint, not even let people know for real, publicly, that they're intentionally trying to cash in on the movie they're trying to cash in on. Obviously, they do intend, but they don't make it obvious. Anyway. But personally, I like this movie for many reasons besides just what it's known for. King Kong. It's not really just because of King Kong himself. It's because of the effects that they use for King Kong. His face, the way, and even the way they depict him actually. His violent Hulk-like self. And even how he is uh, realistically depicted as well. I don't know if I said that already, but you know what I mean. But next time I'll talk about the original King Kong and what I'll probably say about his not much, but it's because I've really stuck with the King Kong 76 movie through my teenage years. Mainly because it served as inspiration for my Barry Gordon and Amargan movies. Mainly because of how serious King Kong 76 was in tone. And because the original is actually more of a classic than 76 is. I seriously don't know about going to the lawsuits that happened around the time of the 76 remake that surrounded the King Kong character. I'm really not sure about that since it would take up a lot more time than I need for this review. So I'm not really going to do that, honestly. I'm not going to go into it. Anyway, see you next time.